That one could have gone either way. Both wrestlers scrambling. Always be wrestling. Zach Horan was able to edge him away and get the two point takedown. And as we talk takedowns, I'm excited for this match. Two takedown artists here in the number six ranked Alec Pantelio taking on number 12, Colin Heffernan of the Central Michigan Chippewas. This is going to be a match. Heading into this dual meet, I told you I was most excited to see this match at 149 pounds. So Pantelio, top 10 in the country. And we saw spurts of greatness last year. But when it came to March, just wasn't able to step up as he wanted to, but doing a tremendous job this season. Only two losses on the season. Both coming from the same wrestler. And Heffernan takes Pantelio down with the double leg. And Pantelio flat on the mat, looking to build his hips up. Heffernan riding tight, tight waist on that left side. Not sure what he's doing on the right side. The angle that we have is blocking us, but looks like he has an inside wrist with that right side, switches to a thigh pry on the left side. Pantelio looking to come up to his feet, and Heffernan with a big lift on the out of bounds. So interesting fact about Colin Heffernan, his uncle is the head coach at the University of Illinois. And Alec Pantelio just picks up the one point escape. The match is now 2-1 with a minute left in the first period. So Illinois tomorrow, as we're mentioning, heads to Penn State, or excuse me, Penn State and Illinois will wrestle tomorrow and in an, Champaign. An interesting fact about these two wrestlers, Alec Pantelio actually earned his first varsity win in collegiate wrestling as a true freshman last season against Colin Heffernan, 10-5. Really? That's a pretty cool fact. Look at you. And Pantelio looking for over and under. Both of these guys continuing to keep their hips squared up to each other, not giving up any position. And now Heffernan looking for an underhook on the left side. Pantelio pushes him away. We head back to the center over the block M, and that'll do it for the first period. Pretty good first period. I liked it. Colin Heffernan did a great job of limiting Alec Pantelio's offense. He leads the match 2-1 here. Both wrestlers, only two losses on the season. Colin Heffernan, 11-2 with Alec Pantelio, 14-2 on the season. Both wrestlers, Wrestling as if they don't want to be given their third loss here. Wrestling hard. Heffernan leads the match 2-1. And this right here, as I've mentioned before, is the key matchup at 149 pounds. Two top 12 ranked wrestlers. Colin Heffernan, if he gets this win, might break into the top eight, which is All-American status. So. Heffernan gets the one for the escape and Pantelio stays after it. And I'll tell you what, they packed him in here tonight, sold out Cliff Keen Arena, military appreciation night. We're not getting the weather that the South is getting, but I'll tell you what, this is impressive. 
So Colin Heffernan does a good job of limiting the offense again here. Gets the offense of his own. And, and as I say that, he gets tossed on his back. Alec Pentelio looking for the fall. And Heffernan with gives up the six. Just like that. Two points for the takedown, four for the near fall. And Kenny Ritchie counts two more for the near fall. So 9-4 lead, Pantelio takes it. And so just before that move, I was gonna mention the difference in physique between the two wrestlers. Heffernan was able to keep Alec Pantelio far so that Pantelio couldn't reach his legs. But now, look what he does. Look what he does in this, in this replay. He's able to toss him over onto his back using his upper body strength, caught him in bad position, and fully executed on that fact. I, I would say as close to a fall as you can get, but now you start to think, if you're Pantelio, about bonus points for the team, and that would be something. Pantelio coming in here, wrestling a top 15 guy and picking up bonus points, that would be tremendous. And for these just, Michigan Wolverines. And you just said he needs to think bonus points without even looking to his coaching staff. The 14-2 sophomore wrestler looks at his coach and says, I'm going down to start this third period. Wants that one point and wants to get that two-point takedown. Looks at the clock, knows he has time to work. A minute and 50 seconds on the clock. Let's see if he can get two. And Heffernan in the down position has shown that he can come up to his feet. So if you're Pantelio, do you start to think about slowing the pace of this match down and waiting until 15, 20 seconds to start looking for your offense? But I suppose that he's just gonna continue to go after it. That's not Pantelio. He's not gonna sit there and wait around. And he is controlling the mat area as you see him keeping Heffernan's heels right on that out of bounds line. And he was able to catch him on his back right on the out of bound line. And that might mean a thing or two, meaning maybe Colin Heffernan was saying, oh, well, we might go out of bounds, was getting a little complacent and got caught as they went there. And there you hear from the University of Michigan bench saying, go for the major, we want the major. 45 seconds left. It's not just the coach's bench, but the fans here in Cliff Keen, an educated set of fans in Ann Arbor. They love wrestling. Sold out Cliff Keen Arena. So Heffernan needs to start looking for those underhooks again. Down by six points. Needs a feet to the back to put this into overtime. So Pantelio looking for a double leg switches to a single on the out of bounds line. He needs to pull this back in. And they go out of bounds back to the center of the mat in the neutral position. Riding time currently not a fact. They're sitting at five seconds. Match score 10-4 in favor of Alec Pantelio. Pantelio runs back to the center of the mat after that break. Knows he has 10 seconds to work. Let's see if he can get the two point major two points rather for the major. And he can't do it, but as a coach, you cannot be upset with that performance, especially since he wrestled from whistle to whistle.